This is the only Vietnamese all-you-can-eat buffet that you're gonna find in town, and it is truly one mega experience. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And today I am out here in Westminster in Orange County, California, because I'm gonna be checking out a local Vietnamese spot. This is 98 Shabu Grill Seafood Buffet. Now what makes this restaurant so unique is that it is one of the rarest kinds of buffets that you can find in Southern California. It is a Vietnamese buffet. Have you heard of anything like that before? I haven't seen it in LA County, and I think this is the only one of its kind in Orange County. They have hot pot here, they have barbecue, they have hot foods, desserts, over 50 items, all you can eat. So if you guys want to see one of the most unique and best buffet experiences that you can find in Southern California, you've come to the right episode. So stick all the way to the end so that you can see this amazing Asian buffet experience here in Orange County at 98 Shabu. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now, and it is time to go in to check out this really awesome buffet. I am so excited. So it's pretty simple, guys. Uh, if you come during lunch, it's about $22. There's a discount if you pay cash which is definitely worth noting. I'm here for the dinner hour, so it's gonna be about $27.99 or $28. All right guys, so this is Douglas. He's the manager here at 98 Shabu and Grill. So you're gonna to explain to me everything that's here, right? Yep, no problem. All right, Douglas, so all of this is the uh, hot pot section, right? Yes, this is all for the hot pot right here, ingredients you can put in. For our first one, we have cabbage right here, standard cabbage you can put in the soup. Mm -hmm. Right up here is chrysanthemum. Okay. Yep. Next is watercress. A lot uh -huh. of people love putting that in. And then as well as ong choy, which is the Chinese water plant right here. Okay. Next up, we have the two uh, noodles right here. We have egg noodle and we have the vermicelli noodles right here. Mm -hmm. and if we move back a little, more ingredients. We have the squash. Oh, or this pumpkin. one. Okay, yep. pumpkin. No problem. We have carrots right here, standard carrots, cuts of taro. Mm -hmm. I also have rice bean sprouts, cuts of mushrooms, and then we have tofu over here, soft tofu and then firm uh, fried style tofu. As well as, if people enjoy it, the instant noodle packs. And I guess this is the uh, protein section, right? Yes, this is the protein section for our hot pot right here. First up is swally fish fillet, so nice cuts of fish. Over here, they may have little bones, but they're a good cut of meat. That is the sea bass. Mmm. Moving on, we do have our shrimp right here. Good old shrimp. Next is the squid cuts right here, little cuts of squid. As well as right next to it, right next to it is salmon. Not only that, I have sea snail, the periwinkle kind, in the shell. Okay. And then fish balls over here. Mm -hmm. And moving on to the top layer, I have the imitation crab meat. Also have more uh, tofu pieces right there. As well as, this is the periwinkle meat, but without the shell. So people enjoy it like that. Okay. Next up is crawfish. And from there, we have our mussels standard clams, and one of our popular ones, the razor clam. Uh, these three meats uh, around here are actually for the hot pot as well. You can just cook them right into the soup, take it out, and dip them with your favorite sauce. Ah. So up here we have lamb meat, down here pork loin cuts, and then I have the beef chuck cuts right here. Nice. Now moving on to the grills, I have marinated spicy salmon, the spicy shrimp, they're all marinated in the same kind of spicy sauce. Mm -hmm. So we also have that as spicy swally cut fish mm -hmm. and spicy squid. The marinated pork slices right there, pork cuts, beef bulgogi, as well as our Korean short rib. Look at that. Yeah. We have pork bulgogi right here and our spicy pork belly. 
Wow, very Korean. And over here is some little dishes for appetizers. These are Vietnamese style salads. So down here we have papaya salad, bitter melon salad, and moving upwards we have the mango salad with different cuts of meat and some shrimp in there, as well as the taro salad as well. And then we have a little section for kimchi if people enjoy that too. Uh huh. Moving on to the side is where we typically have a little dessert at the end of the meal. So these are little uh, gel gelatin cubes with uh, pandan leaf flavored into them. Downwards we have just cuts of oranges. And then here we have the Vietnamese style dessert, the jia, kind of like the refreshing uh, dessert soup in a sense. So two different flavors, one with more coconut milk and the one is more grass jelly base. Next up we have hot foods right here. And this is mostly for appetizers as well as you know little snacks. So we have a lot out, we have egg rolls, moving down the sesame balls, as well as little uh, fried tofu pieces. Mm -hmm. Here we have a special, which is the snow crab legs right there. Oh, Those are seasonal, so depending on what day you come by, you'll, you'll get them. Okay. We have some fried uh, dessert buns right here. Mm -hmm. And on the outside, actually, we have a lot out today. We have uh, shrimp and sweet potato, and they're fried together. Little fried uh, ragoon pieces. Okay, wonton. Yep. And we have the uh, seared pork with the rice noodles around. around. Uh huh. Fried shrimp right here. Here we have some stewed uh, sea snails with some lemongrass flavoring. This is periwinkle with spicy chili marinade, as well as spicy garlic chicken wings. And we have a special right here, the traditional uh, Vietnamese rice cake. And on top of it, we have a little uh, clam meat filling so you can put uh, together on some rice or any fried little dough you get. We have more uh, stewed clams with basil in there. We have the standard chow mein mixed with all those vegetables and meat. We have mussels up here some fried rice, I have fried tofu, and just plain white rice for everybody who enjoys that. The small blue crabs right here, all the fried with nice spicy marinade as well, so you just take and suck the meat off. And this is all the uh, sauce uh, condiment section, right? Yep, all the sauces here for hot pot and for the grill as well, so if you wanna mix things together. So definitely for round number one, I'm going to focus on the hot pot. I got everything from the veggies, to the meats, to the seafood. So for the hot pot base, there's only two. The one on the right side, I think that's like a beef type of a broth, and to the left, that's a pork-based broth, but it's supposed to be Thai style, so it might have that lemongrass flavor. The good news about this restaurant is that you can eat here individually, so if you come by yourself and you want the hot pot or the barbecue or both, you can do it and have fun all by yourself. And based on the menu selections, it looks like this restaurant is more of an Asian fusion restaurant. It's not completely Korean, not completely Chinese, not completely Vietnamese either, but it is technically a Vietnamese restaurant because there's a lot of Vietnamese hot foods, staff is Vietnamese, and we're in Little Saigon. So this is definitely gonna be one of the most unique food experiences you're gonna find here in the OC. Now my big dilemma is where exactly to put all my food because there's the regular side, non-spicy, but then there's also the spicy side. So it's kind of like throwing a little bit of everything into both sides, I guess. Or better yet, maybe I should just toss everything in. Ah, very simple, right? Oh yeah. Well, I know for sure that the beef doesn't take too long to cook, so just put it in there for maybe about 15, 20 seconds, and it's all good. Okay, so off to a good start. That's a beef chuck, which is very popular in a lot of hot pot and shabu shabu restaurants. But I'm very curious to see what the seafood tastes like because after all, this is a seafood buffet. Mm, tastes just like a salmon. Very soft and buttery. How interesting. And that sauce, is really what gives it that hot pot flavor. 
All right, so for sure you definitely need to get the salmon here. That's a pretty good salmon. Did I also tell you they have razor clams up there? Wow, nice and chewy. Oh, that's quite delicious. I really love razor clams, and you'll notice that it's a very popular food, especially around here in Westminster at a lot of these Vietnamese restaurants. So with these sea snails, it's kind of hard to get the meat out, which is a good thing that they supply you with these toothpicks to make it easier. Otherwise, it's gonna be a very difficult journey. Wow, look at that, all that work for just this little piece of meat right there, okay? All right, let's see what this tastes like. Wow, that's a little bit hard to bite into. Is it because I cooked these too long? I don't know. Wow, it's hot. These shells are so hot. Ugh. But let me tell you, if you don't want to do all the work of cooking and trying to pick that little thing out, they do have the other snails that are already pulled out for you. So this makes it kind of easy, right? Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I think I much prefer the ones that are already pulled out. These other ones, I mean, they're still nice to eat on, but these are so much bigger. Also, first time trying uh, sea bass as part of a hot pot meal. Oh, it's hot. Wow, I think I found my new favorite item up there. It's like so buttery and soft. And with these foods, you have to kind of watch them because you don't want to cook them way too long. So for round number two, I think I'm going to focus now on this barbecue section because the Korean in me is very curious to try stuff like this. They give you this butter so that you can butter up your grill. Let's see, ah, okay. All right, got it. Oh, that's very nice. So at the barbecue, I decided to get a lot of the traditional ones that you can find in Korean restaurants like bulgogi and karbi, but then it's not completely Korean because you have the addition of stuff like the marinated salmon, which is definitely not Korean, but I'm still gonna try it. There we go. Gonna put pretty much everything on. Yeah, why not? Let's just put everything on. I think this is the first time I've had a Korean style barbecue in a Vietnamese restaurant. Okay, this is pretty interesting. Okay, not bad. I would say it tastes more along the lines of something that you would eat in a Korean all-you-can-eat barbecue restaurant. But still, they got it up there. It's not cheap, these short ribs. So that just the fact that they have it available as one of the options is a good sign. I mean, it just shows that's the buffet you gotta be at. I think this is the beef bulgogi. I'm not too sure because I know that I got pork as well. Yeah, I think it's the beef. I like the fact that it's as sweet as Korean barbecue meat. So yeah, it pretty much tastes like Korean barbecue. Now this is something that's pretty cool, the salmon. This I have not had in a Korean barbecue, nor have I had it in a Japanese yakiniku restaurant. That is like melt in your mouth. I feel that that salmon is really the way to go here. Whether it's the barbecue or in the hot pot, it tastes good both ways. It's just amazing. It's, it's fresh and it's so soft and buttery. Good stuff. So I hope you guys do like salmon because they got a lot of it up there. So take advantage of it. I definitely want to try the hot foods before I get out of here because I rarely try Vietnamese buffet foods. So yeah, I'm going to do it. Beginning with uh, egg rolls. Oh wow, this looks pretty interesting. I think I'll try it. A lot of crabs. Definitely going to get this. I am so sad because they are out of the crab legs. I heard that once it came out, all the customers pretty much got it and they ran out for the night. Ah, but there's still these other crabs, these blue crabs that are deep fried. These, I like actually because they're very easy to eat. You don't have to crack them and you know, get your hands dirty. Whoa, this is good. Wow, it's even better than I thought. Okay, I didn't expect this. I thought these were gonna be like the crabs you find at those Asian Chinese buffets. This thing really is crispy and it melts in your mouth. 
I think you can actually eat the whole thing. Yeah, it's almost like eating a soft shell crab. Oh, this is good. And speaking of fried, there is this other very unique one I've never seen before. If you didn't tell me what this thing was, I don't think I would have guessed it. So yeah, it's pretty much sweet potato and there's shrimp inside and I kind of do taste that. This is a good combination. I mean, anything that's fried like this, I like. So this, when I saw it, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting it. Can't get enough of the fried food. You see, these are the egg rolls. It would have been cool if I had the veggies where I could wrap it over and put in the fish sauce. I think they might have it up there. I didn't check. Oh, they got egg rolls here. That's pretty cool. They've got a lot of fried foods up there. I think if you are really into deep fried foods, you're gonna have a blast here at this buffet. Very similar to the ones I've had in those Chinese restaurants, you know, the salt and pepper shrimp. You can eat the whole thing so you don't have to peel the shell off. Just pop it in your mouth and you're good to go. I pretty much reached my full point, so I'm gonna end it out with some desserts. They look good though. I wanted to try this from the very beginning. And I think you self-serve with these cups. Coconut type of milk dessert, which looks pretty awesome. Very milky and thick and coconut flavor. That's my Asian dessert right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Between the hot pot and the barbecue, I heard that more customers like to go the hot pot route. Now the barbecue, even though it's good, I feel that you can find this in a lot of Korean barbecue, all you can eat buffet restaurants. I mean, I can kind of say the same thing about the hot pot as well. But what's cool about this hot pot is that they have so many seafood selections up there. So it truly is a seafood buffet restaurant. And all the hot dishes, the Vietnamese hot foods up there are also pretty killer. So if you happen to be around here in this area and you're looking specifically for a Vietnamese themed buffet, 98 Shabu Grill is gonna be your best bet. So yeah, definitely come on by here. Price is very reasonable. You get a lot of great foods here and the staff here is pretty awesome. All right guys, so before I close out this episode, I wanna give a shout out once again to Douglas right here. So mention this episode to him or the staff and he's gonna give you something very special. What is that, Douglas? We're gonna give you a free drink of your choice when you come in and mention about the episode. All right, awesome. So yeah, come on in here, enjoy the drink and also enjoy all this 50 plus buffet selections. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. You know what to do, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next food adventure.